to my channel good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching from whatever time zone you're watching from so today I want to talk about the serums and oils you need to put in your soap to boost this whitening efficacy lightening whitening yeah so the serums some of them i have sometimes i mean some of them i don't have because i don't keep the containers once i'm done i toss them away so some of them i'm going to put up the screen and some of them i have here i'm going to show you when you make your soap by the way this could be a black soap it could be a cold processed soap uh, melt and pour or it could be just a soap paste you're making or you can use uh, there are different kinds of soap you can use but let me talk about the one I use I either use this method this uh, serums for my black soap or I use it to boost the efficacy of the soap this is the one I use remember i tell you whatever i share on my channel is something that i have tried tested and trusted by my clients and me so this is the soap that i use and i use this serum to boost this soap for myself and my clients and the results are amazing please try it sell to your clients whichever and all I need from you is just to give me a thumbs up, like my video, subscribe to my channel, help me build my channel, and share this video. This is the soap I use. I boost the soap with the serum. Not all of them at once, but some of them, which I'm going to show you. This soap is a Ghanaian soap. There's the one they call uh, Semolina. Alata semolina cottage soap. So yes, this is what you can these serums you can use for this soap because it's already a paste. All you have to do is put these serums and some other ingredients, pound, blend, match with your hands, with your fist, whichever. So this soap is a paste. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's lovely this soap oh thank god for nature and organic this soap is the bomb and it smells heavenly lemony orange smell not just lemon smell like orange and lemon combined together <laughs> orange and lemon combined together it's beautiful and what it does to the skin oh this is what the soap looks like. It's a pasty soap, as you can see, like this. See, see, it's gelish in a way, and it doesn't stain your hand. See, it doesn't leave any residue on your hand. It's so gelish and transparent. Transparent. See, soap is just can match it yeah soap is lovely lovely <laughs> that's it so these serums I'm going to put up here so you can see them like I said I have some of them some of them I don't have here with me so I'll just show you the ones I have and the other ones I'll put up so you see so the first serum um, you can put the serum in your soap to boost the efficacy now please by the way i'm not saying you put only the serum but you can put only the serum and you're good to go even if it's a whitening serum and you put only the serum in this soap it will brighten you smoothing your skin tone your skin but if you're looking for whitening you have to put some other stuff as well which i'm going to make a video for that separately i'm going to make a video for how you can you know and demonstrate how you can boost the efficacy for this soap for whitening okay so now let me show you the serums 
available to have available with me. First is this. We all know what this is. This is a coin set, actually. It's not really a similar or serum per se, but it cleanses the skin. You can use it like a facial toner with cutting wool for your face. But it's very high in fruit acid. The acidity of this cleanser is very high. It whitens. What I do with this is I take, like, say, a cup of this for half half container of this and I use it to soak the soap I just pour it in and I use it as my liquid that is if I don't want to use fruits sometimes I use fruit juice like pineapple extracted juice lemon or uh, what they call it lime lime is a bit too harsh so I use this in place of fruit to soak this is what I use as my so this is one of that you can use this the second serum is this one it's a glutathione glutathione and vitamin c concentrate you know and one is milkish like this it's actually concentrate you don't really it's serum and concentrate which means it's stronger and more concentrated mm -hmm. So this one you can put in your soap to boost this efficacy. It lightens and it whitens as well with other ingredients. Okay, but it does the job. Another one is this Rosa. Rosa, which is uh, concentrate for skin. This is quite strong, quite strong. You can put this like this for half of this. Uh, of this even the glutathione you can put one bottle for half of the soap you can put two different serums you can put three different serums but i always advise since you're putting all the ingredients and even oils it's best not to put too many ingredients in your product a uh, product because that could confuse your skin honestly don't overdo it overdoing it doesn't guarantee you getting results in fact it works the other you know like the reverse of it what it's supposed to do is to lighten but now what it's doing is like it could give your skin patches your skin will be so confused and don't know if it should go light or dark or light or dark like that so you can use two serums concentrate one or you one concentrate like that and you're good to go another one again which is an oil is not a concentrate is an oil is this clinic clear very good this is the oil it's not a concentrate it's an oil serum but it's an oil foam this you can put in your soap you can use it as well it gives a flawless because see this uh, oil if you put it in a cream and or apply it directly to your body it could give you black knuckles yes this could give you black knuckles but whereby it's your soap the good thing about products even hydroquinone even pr any product that has hydroquinone if you use it on your skin in your soap for your skin you will still receive get that good lightening result no because what you're doing you're not leaving it on your skin the surface of your skin to be there for hours like cream but you're putting it in your soap and using it as a cleanser you're washing your skin with it and you're rinsing it off so it will do the job without the damage the longer it stays on your skin the more damage it could which is when you use it in cream so in soap it's better another another one again is this BB clear I love this oil <laughs> it's almost half I love this oil this oil is so good like in five seven days you are seeing your skin being so flawless this is what it looks like one bottle of this for half of container of this and you put another serum and some powders and even greater soap and add to it it's, mm, everyone this I love and I use this one BB clip 
five in one baby clip. Another one again, Pima dough. People know this Pima dough. You can use this. You can use one bottle of it or half of it in half a container of this soap paste. Another oil, which is not a concentrate, is this one. Bio Eclat. Clean carrot oil. It's very good. Very, 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 very good. This gives you a very flawless, smooth finish and helps diminish dark knuckles and patches on the skin. This is good as well. So basically, when you add these oils to your soap, you're going to get a very 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 bomb results because some of these oils i mentioned and the ones i'm putting up which you can see the pictures they quite harsh they are quite harsh they're not mild on the skin and most of them are african products which is uh saying cote d'ivoire cameroon abidjan uh, Benin, Republic, you know, etc. But their products, as you know, is quite harsh and intense because they, their system, I don't know, please don't quote me, is a bit more flexible when it comes to chemicals and creams in serums and skin, you know, cosmetology. So they, I don't know if it's regulated or not, but it they seem the product seems to be quite harsh because you know the dark skin takes time to show uh, results of lightening. Our skin is quite tough. The melanin components in our screen uh, in our skin is very high, which gives us this dark shade that we have and gives us is responsible for the dark skin tone, responsible for the dark eyes brown. The darker your eyes, the higher your melanin like that supposedly but uh indonesian products korea products which is uh south korea uh thailand um china i don't i don't trust chinese product most of these asian products and even arabic products they're quite mild because you know they already have light skin they're just making it look much better and glowy so um basically their products are quite mild and when we so when you get an Indonesian product and you use it on a dark skin, you don't get to see result as much as they will. They will get more result because they don't have any melanin in their skin. We do. So the product takes time. Most of them just smoothing your skin, brightening your skin. Doesn't really do much of a lightening. Not really. Okay. So with the serums, you use the serums, you use your powder, you use your uh, organic stuffs, you blend another soap into it and incorporate it, say like ozone soap, uh, koji soap, KK Brothers, any of those ones, which I'm going to make a video showing you how I incorporate all the serums and any other soap into this paste soap to make it more uh efficient for the lightening and the whitening so yeah that will make another video for that one so so yes so i think that's it for now let me not blab too much please kindly subscribe to my channel and like my video share it and drop a comment in the comment section letting me know how it went with you if you made the soap how it turned out and any product you would like me to review for you kindly let me know in the comment section down below so this is me ivy signing out and thank you for watching my video see you soon again love you guys bye